What's up, all my devil dogs? It's your boy, Sean Ollie, aka Miss FSG, the Iron Five Star General. All right, it's the first installment of my Back to the Basics series. All right, and the first exercise we're gonna be talking about is one that a lot of people mess up: dumbbell incline press. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. All right, so first thing people mess up on is they have it too high. All right, so see how when I sit down here, it's kind of high. The higher and less steep that it is it's going to turn it into a shoulder exercise. Because when you're sitting up like this, the shoulder press. So if you're barely inclined like this, you're going to be working a lot more shoulders and chest. So I typically like to have it a little bit lower. About right here, about 45, anywhere between 30 and 45 degrees. So see here how, how I'm kind of like, I'm at a slight angle. It doesn't have to be a, like a huge, you know, you want it to be just a little bit above flat just so you can hit that other part of the chest, all right? So we're gonna grab some dumbbells here. Grab some weight that typically you can do anywhere between eight and 12 or 15. I say eight and 12. Challenge yourself a little bit, you know, don't go into the gym, you know, doing some little BS workout, you know, actually try and get something done, all right? So here's what we're gonna do first, all right? To get these up. Now, when you get heavier weights, it's gonna be harder to get up, all right? So what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna kick it up with your knees, all right? So kind of get the dumbbells kind of down at your knees like this. And what you're gonna do, you kick up one, kick up the second one, line yourself up, all right? Now to line yourself up right, you don't want it too high. You don't want it all the way up here by your shoulders. You kind of want it right over your chest a little bit, okay? If you're already at an incline, that's gonna work your upper chest. You don't have to hold it up near your upper chest to get more stimulation, all right? Keep your feet planted, all right? I'm gonna link you guys to a video I have with bench press mistakes. Do not flail your feet if you can't get the weight. That just means you can't get it, all right? Don't mess up your base, all right? You wanna have a strong base. The shoulders retracted, chest nice and high. What you're gonna do, you come up. Since you got dumbbells, you're gonna come up and kinda in. Don't walk out, okay? We're trying to build the muscle. We're not trying to destroy our joints here. So you wanna get just to right before lockout, all right? So back down. Up, all right, keeping your arms at a 45 degree angle. So don't flare them like this. See, a lot of people flare out like this, that's real hard on your shoulders, all right? Kind of tuck, tuck your elbows in. Make sure they get all the angles so you can come from all the other side. All right, so you come up, in, back down, up, down, up, down, up. You see that? Real simple. When you're done, turn them inwards, drop them, and come back up. It's real simple, guys, all right? So, key points in the video, all right? Don't be at too high of an incline. You'll hit more shoulders and chest, all right? Do not flare your arms. I don't want to see anybody with busted AC joints, all right? Keep your arms 45 degrees. Keep your chest high, shoulders retracted, and use a weight that you can get 8 to 12 reps with, all right? Any questions you got, leave comments below. Don't forget to order. Subscribe and share like and comment. So next time on Devil Dogs, dismiss. I'm back from you know my appendectomy. So instead of pyramiding down like I normally do, starting off with a heavy weight and then going down to a lighter weight, I decided let me pyramid up just to see where I'm at. So I started off with 45 on each side. Felt pretty good. Um, really good to get that mind connection going again. Uh, for my second set here, I slapped on a 10, just a little bit 